Hello and welcome to yin yoga for our small intestine meridian. And it runs on the back side of the upper body from the sacrum on the long side of the um, spinal cord on, your, on our vertebrae. And it runs up around the neck in zigzags on the side of the head. And it also goes out the arm and out through the, uh, towards the ring finger. So we will be doing some upper back yin yoga stretches and we might include some legs in it as well. So let's take a comfortable seat and thanks for joining me. I'm so happy that we're here together today. So I like to, for these upper body meridians, um, I like to start with breathing with a inclusiveness of the arms as well. So we'll bring them in and take the fingertips towards the floor and sit nice and tall. Take a few nice, just centering breaths right here. Centering breaths for our intestine, for our small intestine. And we'll breathe into the energy of it and take the arms up towards the sky, palms together. And exhale, hands back down towards the earth, your mat. Inhale, bring it back up. Nice big inhale and exhale hands down to the side and we'll do three more times broadening in towards the back body as we breathe and exhaling growing taller and two more times inhale bring it all the way up and exhale and then one more time like a nice big extension breathing in the back body and exhale taking the hands back down to the floor. And from here, let's start with our first yin yoga pose. I like to hold the poses for about um, 20 breaths, which sometimes equals about three minutes. After 90 seconds, it has become a yin yoga pose where it goes into the deeper layers to the fascia, the connective tissue, where we do get to go in and target the layers of the meridians and all its points. So let's take the feet together if it works for you. And maybe you have blocks nearby. Since this is our first pose, I know that it might be a little stiff in the, in the hips. So you might have your um, legs crossed like this and take your palms forward and rest that way. And you might, like me, sit on a blanket for a little bit more upright for the sake of even more support. So either hands forward, either feet crossed or feet together for butterfly pose and your hands can be right here. And we're, we're focusing on breathing into the back body and extending all the way from the sacral region up the whole backside, shoulders and out the arms. So either hands on blocks or hands on the floor, wherever it works for you. And then we'll stay here for about another 15 breaths or so. Supporting ourselves and just going to the edge of our pose where we feel like it's comfortable for us you might put a block for your head to rest upon, or you might let your head just hang free, or you might have a pillow or something that makes it comfortable for you. Taking some nice deep breaths in towards the whole back side of the body. Releasing into the back of the neck. Letting the pose sip into the layers that connects our muscles that connects our tendons to bones into the deeper layers of the lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders, and neck. And we just enjoy staying within our comfort zone. And we do our best to hold our pose and keep it as still as we can. So there's no pulling, there's no pushing, it's just being. softening all the layers and we'll take about another 10 breaths here.
releasing, melting, feeling some nice energy moving through the layers, clear pathways. Noticing a nice soft feeling in the whole back side of the body from the hips towards the neck. We'll take another three breaths here. And slowly making our way up from there and coming upright, moving into threading the needle. And it's a twist and it really does target the shoulders really well and the upper back where that lower intestine meridian runs. And again, put a blanket underneath your knees if needed. From here, we're going to take the right arm underneath the left so we're going to come down onto the right shoulder, come to the side of the head and get that whole upper back shoulder area twisted. It really gets the whole small intestine meridian in a nice way. So if we can stay right here, this is a good place to be. We could take the left foot out to the side and you could hook your right arm around it or just simply let the arm lay on the side. So you can flatten out the toes on your right and you can come with your left hand behind you and here is your one variation of thread the needle or another one would be to have your um, both your <clears throat> knees on the floor. So pick one that works for you and we'll enjoy a nice twist right here. Flattening out the toes crawling underneath that right shoulder and you might even take your left arm behind you and just letting it be there. Finding the edge of the pose, staying within a comfortable zone of three to four on a level up to 10. So, you know, there is a muscle that have to help us to be here, but we are doing our best to relax the right side of the whole back side of the body. Letting the pose go in and target the small intestine meridian helps us with our digestive, sorts out nutrients for us, keeps the digestive system and the mind clear when it's functioning well. Staying here for about another 10 breaths or so. Enjoying our neck stretch, shoulder stretch, twist.
take another breath here. And slowly bringing it all the way back and coming up and switching to the second side. Coming over with your left arm underneath your right, twisting and getting underneath that left shoulder where it's comfortable for you. And maybe this is where we are. Maybe the arm comes behind and maybe we flatten out the toes and find a comfortable place here. Um, it might be more comfortable with the pillow, but it might also be comfortable right where you are. I'm going to take my foot out and let my palm just lay open to it and taking our my right arm behind and having my neck stretch, my shoulder stretch right here, finding a comfortable place and feeling like it's targeting that side of the left whole body. Being as passive as we can. Surrendering in towards the left shoulder neck area, holding the pose as still as we can so that the magic can work its way in towards the tendons and connective tissue. Breathing into any tight areas that might surface up. We have about another five breaths here. And slowly making your way back to all fours and give yourself a couple of cat cows arching your spine <clears throat> before our next pose which will be a bow tie pose where we get the arms to cross we we'll start with the right and the left underneath and then we're gonna lay down and put our forehead down but we're gonna lay on our belly and I'm gonna have a little pillow for my just like the end of the pillow feels pretty good for the forehead. So the right arm over and the left arm under, it's kind of a funky way to get into it, but it really gets that upper back really, really nicely. And then taking the arms out to the side and putting your head down, turning the palms up towards the sky, letting your feet relax and finding a good support for your forehead. And there you are in a pretty funky um, shoulder neck release stretch. Enjoying this for about 10 breaths on each side. A 
making sure to have everything relaxed, deep breathing, surrendering. Take another five breaths here, having a good time into the shoulders. slowly coming up which is not maybe the easiest one to get out of and come up onto all fours again and just give your arms maybe a little stretch in between and then we'll do the opposite side take the left over the right and then we'll just sail back down onto the belly and of course if it's too much pressure to lay all the way down just stay on your knees and see what works for each side Palms facing up, and then we get that nice sweet spot, the deltoids. Get a comfortable place to lay down, stretch the shoulders, bring health and a whole lot of chi to the small intestine meridian by just stretching that upper back, shoulder area, neck area. We'll stay for about 10 breaths here. nice and heavy in the muscles. Another five breaths here. gently taking your way out of bow tie pose and <clears throat> revisit that another time to come up onto all fours. That should have maybe stirred some things up in the upper back shoulder area. Next pose is our eagle arms or shoelace arms, eagle arms. I like to sit on something and I'm also going to take eagle legs or shoelace legs in yin yoga language sitting down onto the pillow crossing my legs you can sit with your legs crossed and you can sit on a block bending your knees underneath you can sit on a chair however you'd like to sit i like to sit like this and get a little bit also in towards my hips really the lower intestine starts um, smaller intestine starts um, 
um, right at the base of the sacrum. So it does get a nice turn by um, getting a little hip stretch in as well. So let's take the right arm under and the left arm over and either we are here stretching our arms like this and the shoulders back of the arms or we take the palms together and we'll take a stretch with the neck over towards the the ear towards the right side and get a nice opening in the left neck up towards the whole side of the head as well and we have about 20 breaths here sinking into the pose sinking into the hips Enjoying just sitting, enjoying a nice deep yin yoga stretch into the neck, into the upper back, into the back of the arms, bringing health and vitality to our smaller intestine. just by moving energy, moving chi through the meridian. It's nice to have clear communication for the meridian and the smaller intestine and making sure that all nutrients have a good clear pathway to be absorbed into the bloodstream keeping the nutrients nice and clear and keeping our minds nice and clear. We'll take another five breaths here. And slowly opening our eyes if they were closed and coming back out. Take a nice big inhale. Arms up, breathe into the back body and exhale. And switching the legs and switching the arms. Or sitting on your chair where it is comfortable, wherever you feel comfortable. Maybe you need support on your ankles. Or like me, sitting on a pillow taking the left arm underneath the right this time. I like to just have the same leg and the same arm. You might like it opposite, but just switch sides, whichever side you were on. Palms together, relax arms, or you might have your um, arm out to the side and get the same stretch in the shoulder. This will kind of target maybe a little bit more up towards the palms and the fingers. Take your neck and your head and tip it over towards the left side and combine it shoulder opener neck stretch hip opening breathing in the back body finding a comfortable place to sit for the next 20 breaths or so finding your edge and holding the pose after you find it and then keeping it as still as we can and just letting the breath move through the layers of the body.
enjoying just sitting, stretching the shoulders, bringing health to the body, bringing more open pathways. We'll take another five breaths here. And gently releasing your head up, opening your eyes, release your arms. Bring your arms up for one nice big breath, long side body, and taking the hands back down to the side. Undo the legs and get comfortable in Shavasana. We we'll have a little neck pillow, and we'll take our Shavasana for 20 breaths as a yid yoga pose to let all of our layers assimilate into a new place of being. Relaxing the toes. All the muscles are relaxing. Hips are heavy. There's a nice breath. Even breath going through all the parts. Your spine, clear your breath, third eye is cleaning and clearing. Take the breath to the back body just as much as to the front body for this Shavasana. Another five breaths here. Enjoying a nice, even energy field through the whole body by just taking a Shavasana and letting all the energies that we squeezed and stretched kind of assimilate into the layers where it needs to be. And moving toes and fingers, stretching the arms and Right side, left side, bending the knees in and coming over to one side, making your way up to a comfortable seat. 
and it's in the pillow if you like me like to have a pillow for the sacrum to sit on take the fingers touching the earth again and kind of clearing the pathway with the help of some earth energy into our yin yoga practice from our fingers to the palms and especially through that small intestine meridian inhale sweep it all the way up from the outer layers to the inner layers exhale breathing is nice new fresh energy inhale and exhale and we'll take three more inhale and exhale again inhale and exhale last one take it all the way up bring it up towards the sky and exhale taking the hands in our lap and take a few moments to sit together and just really breathe into the back body and kind of like a nice big hug wrapping it to towards the front and expanding in towards the back body and just cleaning and clearing with our mind with our breath for another three minutes to the small intestine meridian energy chi bringing health and vitality to our body with our intention and with our breath and just by sitting. Hands to the heart, palms together. We'll take one ohm to close our practice and to vibrate all the energies, the layers of the outer bodies and the inner bodies and the energies and the chi's and we'll bring them into one nice big ohm and help them to find a really good clear pathway in our body. Let's take a nice ohm together, inhale. Thank you for joining me for yin yoga for our small intestine and I look forward to seeing you in the next video and it will be a more vigorous practice um, but it still is a basic yoga and it is for also with intention for a small intestine find me there and i look forward to seeing you in the previous videos or in the next videos and i love the feedback and thanks again have a fantastic day namaste